Alright, when I was in the military, I was told by some civilians to mess with the first sergeant, who was a, a tech sergeant. I'm not sure how he was given the first sergeant a little symbol, but he, he got it somehow. And it, it, I think it was through maybe a, a democratic election type of process with the, the, my, like, like the supervisors, people who had higher rank than me. But I was told to tell the first sergeant that he didn't sleep until everybody was happy. And I thought that was funny and decided to do that. And his response was, I hate you. And that really rang in my head for a long time. And it, it makes me believe that that's, that's how politicians are supposed to operate. They pander to the people and make all these promises and just to get elected. And it's not just about holding true to their promises as much as it's continuing to make the people happy. Okay, there are those promises, but ultimately it was, uh, if, uh, if you look at it in a, in a whole, in a, in a macro from a distance way, it's, it's about making the people happy at the time. So they were saying things and doing things to, to make people happy at the time, making the big promises. That was to, to satisfy people's uh, wants and desires. Well, that continues on well after they're elected. Okay? They don't sleep until the people are happy. So as they're elected, while they're working, people bring their grievances to the elected officials and, and complain about things they don't, things that aren't, aren't popular and all that. And and the politician is there to to get the to get the the worst complaints to, to be held accountable for certain decisions and stuff, and and to read in the news that the senators are are griping about our president being too hard on them is just it's a not, it's it's ridiculous. That's, that means that the president really is doing a good job being so hard on the, the senators because that's the senator's job is to hear uh, complaints. It's, it's to be blamed for the problems in the government. Okay, that's, that's their job. All right, so that, what's, what's the problem? You're, you're doing, as a civilian, civ civil civil. Uh, ethics and all that, you're doing a good job by m making the, them push back, saying you're being too hard on the politicians. You don't want to be accused of being too soft on the politicians, because then, you know, you're paying these, all, these politicians all that money to, to represent the people, and they're just, they're, they're sitting back and, and wondering what, what's, what's the, what are they to do? Okay, if nobody's complaining, nobody has any problems with the government, you know, what are the, the politicians to do? Just sit back and, and take in the money? They might get a little bored and start, start trying to make, make a little extra money on the side uh, through, through, um, through scandals, through, through underhanded um, transactions. So you, you want to be hard on the politicians to keep them focused. It's like whipping them, all right, into shape, whipping them into shape, instead of just kind of electing them into the office and then just, just like letting things go from there uh, without question. So I'm, I'm really, truly proud of, of how the president is handling the senators and, and making them push back, okay? Even within the Republicans, that's, that's just incredible, all right? Any elected official is is there to address complaints and find find solutions. Um, they're lawmakers. They're ones to listen to the both sides of whatever issue, and then and then try to make as fair a decision for everybody as possible. 
and, and you know, try to make everybody happy so they can get elected again.